In this video, I'll be making my biggest mock yet. Whoa! For lovers of paleontology. Now I'll show you every little detail. I started with this huge base. This is the largest base plate I've ever used on the channel, guys. It has 12 16 by 16 plates, plus two more rows of studs, and one row in the middle, which means 3,000 studs overall, making this the largest mock I've ever made yet. And I'll need every inch of it to showcase the centerpiece of this great mock. But first, let's build up the borders. I'll cover the sides in plain black, since that'll look the most neat. This is where the centerpiece is going. Now time to fill this hole inside with filler brick. Except for here and here, cause I'm gonna build a cool little feature in there. You'll see when I'm done. Now we have the terrain, with this larger pit excavated. The centerpiece will be this huge T-Rex skull from set 76964. In my dino world, this skull is the remains of an ancient old one that must be studied to understand the universe. When they found it, only the tippy top of its nosy nose was sticking out of the ground. And on it, for some strange reason, grew the only red flower in the whole area. I put it in the pit with scaffolding. The reason I lined the walls of the pit with these yellow panels was because the inspiration for this mock is from 2001 A Space Odyssey and the scene where they find the ancient alien monolith on the moon. It was such an intense and mysterious scene for me and I wanted to evoke a similar feeling with the skull of the old one. Oh, and that special feature I mentioned earlier? Well, if you want a better view of the skull... Boom. Oh yeah. Also on the sides, I put buried bones underground and a burrow for our friendly creature. Which, thanks to this comment, I'm naming Chomp. He was lonely and wanted to come on the expedition too. Now to add the army of minifigs that I prepared for this mock. I have a clear demarcation line between nature and the anti-dino guard. On the guard side, I added the motor pool. With the two frog tanks, my next video will be a tutorial, and a little bobcat thing, that was able to cross the river thanks to Jenna's robot. If you want to see more of this robot, check out my T-Rex attacking the city video. Here are beloved squad members Kanan Fodder and Jenna Tolls are doing repairs. And it kind of looks like that one meme. Here is a campfire with some dudes being dudes. And the flamethrower guy is sharing his chicken with Chomp, who is right across the line on the nature side. Now the xenologists are there of course, along with, that's right, more effigies. You know I love putting these little guys in my mocks, and today they're on more ancient megaliths. Also, the sniper is the only guardsman on the nature side, hiding in bushes. I chose to put him on this side, cause he's the guard's best jungle survivalist. And when he's in the barracks, he walks around butt naked, giving sermons about man's natural state or something. If he wasn't in the guard, he'd probably be in jail. I also added a table here, where the head xenologist drinks coffee, and writes in his Tome of Secrets. And in the middle of everything, Protag and the lead xenologist are having an argument. But about what, you ask? Protag is arguing they should sell the bones on the bone market to raise money for the guard. And the head xenologist is saying they should leave it to study it to learn more about nature. 
And so now you can see the entire mock is mirroring the sides of this argument. The anti-dino guard and all their equipment on one side, and the xenologists and nature and ancient mysteries waiting to be studied on the other. What do you guys think? Should they sell the bones of the old one or leave it to study it? Let me know in the comments. For now, it's time to show you the final build. Okay. 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 